Hi everybody, it's Laura. Um, today we are doing a bloom with some vines. Uh, this I saw this uh, by another artist, Lisa Marvin, and I thought it was really pretty and a, and a really neat layout. So we're going to, as always, Start with our color place right out of the can, as is, nothing done to it. I'm going to try something a little different here. We're going to spin this out to um, get it to be a little bit more level. And then we're going to just add a little bit back into the center so that we have that extra pillow for our colors to slide over. That is the purpose of the pillow in the bloom. You want that center to be a little bit thicker so that it has um, a pillow for the paint to move on. So now we're gonna spin it just a tad. Kind of get it to even out, get some of that going over the sides. It'll make it easier to achieve um, the color going over the sides. Okay, and then we're going to add just a little bit more in the center for that bloom. Just a little bit. Good. That's it. Okay, so my colors are all mixed with Glidden Base 3 GLN 6413N and um, triple, a Verithane Triple Thick Varnish. That is what the colors are mixed with. Your base is the thickest, your colors are a little thinner, and your cell activator is even thinner. And that is the gist of things. So we are going to start, I'm going to look at this. I think we're going to do two, this is going to be a painting that is hung from, the, from a point. We're going to do two vines going off the side, and then we will do the bloom in the center. So the colors I have chosen are Amsterdam Light Olive Paint. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. This is a little bit thick. It's been sitting around for a while. So I'm gonna take my Minwax water. That's three parts Minwax Polycrylic and one part of water and I keep that in a little squeeze bottle that I can squeeze into my colors and thin them down if they have thickened up which this one has so we're gonna go like so this is gonna be our vine We're going to put another one over here. And we don't need as much out near the edges because that's just going to flow off anyway. Or spin off, I should say. So we want... Ugh. Look at, look at that. That might be a goop. Okay. That should be good for that. So I can put the lid on. Now we're going to go with our pigments. This is Primary Elements. Splendor in the Grass. Wait till you see this color. Look at that. 
really pretty. Start here. We're going to go right up next to this one. Need a little bit more. Some people pour it on. I don't like pouring because I end up being too heavy handed and I end up with a bunch of paint. Okay. That was Splendor in the Grass. Um, next, I'm going to do this deep um, tail feather. It's kind of bluish. This is a little too thick. Put some min water in there. Thin it out. Much better. Good. I'm not doing anything in particular, just getting it on there. And I think one more color, we're going to use sea glass. So we're going to have a nice combination of greens and blues for those, for the vine. Okay. Now, before I do the bloom, Well, no, we'll wait a little bit. Let's do the bloom next. Okay, I am trying something new here. Um, first of all, this is a pink metallic paint by U.S. Art. This is not new to me. I'll show you what's new. I have two more pigments that are new. So we're going to start with a big circle in the center that's going to be our bloom part and of course that's going to blow over these vines here comes the new one this is this little piggy watermelon pigment and this color is awesome look at that isn't it pretty i've been waiting to try this one so i had to do something pink just gorgeous and it looks just like watermelon okay Here comes the other new one. This is called Sockeye. It is like a salmon color. Isn't that pretty? So I hope that this ends up being a good color combination. All lighter pinks. I'm so excited to see these new ones. Okay, so that was Paint Piggy Piggy. It's time for a paint. Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose. It's just a nice pastel rose color. I am so sloppy with these things. I always get a dribble. Um, and Deco Art Rose Gold.
Okay. I'm almost thinking I want something darker in there, in that red section, but I don't know what I would use. And putting a darker one on top is going to be disastrous, I think. So we're going to leave it as it is. And we will have our black on there for our uh, cell activator. So that'll be fine. Okay. I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this. Let's just bury it. Good. Now we are going to take and swirl. Not with this. We're going to take our tool. Where'd my tool go? There it is. And we're going to make some swirls in this. And make it look viney. Okay. Looks viney to me. Do the same on the other one. like it okay we've done our vine part now we're going to do our bloom part let's get our cell activator let's put a nice puddle in there okay and now we're going to do our blowing We're going to let it rest for a second. Then I'm going to come at it with this. That green going back over there just a little bit. Oh, I love that watermelon color. And the sockeye. Both very pretty. So we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. Look at all those cells. Just amazing. Uh, where'd I put my turkey baster? There it is. I think my cell activator has had it. It's a couple weeks old. Usually I use it for about a week and a half, although we still have a lot of cells right here, but it's kind of losing its oomph. Time to make another batch. So I think that we will do some embellishing on the flower.
modifying, I should say. We'll take some in. I think we'll give this one a larger petal look. Instead of doing as much as I usually do, keep it a little bit less. Now we are ready to spin. I think. Let's take one final look. Eh. I don't like this right here. Let's get that going inwards a little. That's better. All right, here we go. I've seen this done as a, um, a triptych, which is um, three separate canvases that you hang next to each other. Now, in that event, you'd, you would want to go, uh, you'd want to have your vines going sideways. Oh, look at this. Very pretty. Um, so that they carry over to the next canvas and the next canvas, and you have like a a three-part portrait painting. I do love this watermelon and the sockeye. Hold on, we got a few bubbles that I missed. where my eyes are going not sure how I didn't see these before I did this or I forgot to do it all together <laughs> all right I kind of like this just as it is because the vines are starting to lose their definition and I kind of want to keep that that swirliness to them so let's take Get this going over the edge. I think this is really a waste of time for me to do on camera. But I want to show you that I do it. You do have to work on your edges and make sure they're good. There's always something to grab from there. Yeah, see, now this one didn't even go off the edge here. So, let's pick us up some white. Get it going over the edge. Some white over here. Need a little bit more right here. Let's 
We may give it one more little spin. And just a little right there. Good. And it'll dribble off the edge and smooth out as it dries. All right, one more little spin. Oh, now see, I like the vines better now. They got even better. Cool. We've got plenty going over the edges now, so we are done. So that is a vine, and I really like this because I was having trouble... I was trying to do these as blooms, the green, the viney part, and it just wasn't working well. And then I saw this technique, and it's just, yeah, you just put down the colors and swirl through them, and you're done. You're, you're not trying to get that to be so um, perfect, and it doesn't, doesn't work well with, uh, with the green trying to be a bloom. So I definitely learned something today. This is how I plan to add greens. And actually... Um, it'd be nice to have a little one here and a little one here too. So maybe next time. Let's take you down and show you what the close-up looks like. Got all four of our colors shimmering in there. That sockeye and that watermelon are just gorgeous. I like them. I'm not, I used to be a big pink person, but I'm not so much anymore, but... I really like this. These would be pretty with blues and purples. So I'm going to do some experimenting. So there you have it. There is our completed vine bloom. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up on the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments. Alrighty. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.